What's up? What's good? Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. I did a video on the five worst meals. This is a question I get asked all the time. The five best meals. It's a hard list to come up with just because prison food sucks all around. But stay tuned for a great video at the new Matt Clark. What's up? What's good? Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Monday? I'm doing great. My girl's great. My family's great. My work is great. And I hope each and every one of you are great. I want to say thank you to each one of my 1,628 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. Every day our subscriber count grows. It's not growing crazy fast, but it's growing nonetheless. The movement is real. The movement is growing, and I have all of you to thank for that. So thank you very much. You guys help hold me accountable. If you could please hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be an amazing help. There is also a PayPal option if you would like to help donate and support the channel. The link is always in the description. So, in the past I've done five worst meals. That's an easy list to come up with in prison. All the food is pretty horrible. Uh, it's, not the super, it's not super easy to be specific about it, but you can pretty much put any meal on that list because they all suck. So in my travels, I've done 17 years total, three fed sentences, been in most of the jails and prisons in southern Ontario, and I've had some pretty horrible prison meals. This list consists of five of the best prison meals. And coming in at number five, from J back in Joyceville, back in the day, before they screwed up the menu after they turned it into reception, I'm talking about the BLTs and Bacon Day. They would send up in the morning on Bacon Day a whole big steel bowl of bacon. And obviously in Ontario, a lot of the black dudes do not eat bacon. So it's left there. There's a handful of dudes eating it. If you're on the right range. Then there was the Friday afternoon BLT. Sliced tomato, lettuce, real nice crispy bacon mm -mm -mm, with some mayo and some chickpea and bean salad. Woo! Some real delicious prison food. Now let's get that straight. I said prison food. Because the reality is in the street, I would take that BLT and chickpea salad and throw it in the dang garbage. Because it's crap. But, in prison, that's why at number five, I have Joyceville's BLT from back in the day, 2006, 2007, 2008. The number four best meal also comes in by way of Joyceville Penitentiary, and this is the sliced real roast beef. Now... Anytime you're in a prison and you get real meat, that's a bonus. It's good protein. Everybody wants it, so it's hard to get extras. So it becomes a hot commodity. Well, for me, the roast beef in Joyceville was one of my favorites because I could chop it up and make my sticky beef. Now, what that is is hoisin sauce, soy sauce, brown sugar and my mix of spices all fried together with some vegetables till it's sticky and sweet put on top of a bed of white rice and in prison this is a five star meal i used to get harassed and it actually used to drive me crazy because in joyceville you have a burner on your range right like a it's like a what's it called a, a hot plate right and there's two burners so you can, you can revamp up your meals on some level. They have frying pans and stuff. So you could chop up anytime you get real meat or anytime you get stew or anything that has chunks of meat in it. We'd rinse that off and we'd revamp the meal. But this sticky beef. I used to get asked multiple times a week to make it by people that were stoned on marijuana, the reefer, the pot. You know, the stuff these young kids are doing these days. And... Honestly, it drove me nuts, but the meal's delicious, 
And although it would be much better out here, where you can buy real choice cuts of meat and the food is delicious, at least in there, it tastes like real food, has some real substance, and uh, at least you can fill your belly with something that at least seems like somewhat home-cooked food. So that's why at number four, I also have a meal coming in from Joyceville, and that is the sliced real roast beef. I don't even know if they give it out in reception anymore, but they gave it out the whole time I was there, and it was a hot commodity. So coming in at number three is the Sunday morning breakfast and the Thursday morning breakfast from Central East Correctional Center, Central North Correctional Center, or Central West Correctional Center, which is Lindsay, Penetang, Maplehurst. I think also Ottawa eats that food. I think that Niagara eats that food. Those The Sunday morning breakfast and the Thursday morning breakfast. So the Sunday morning breakfast is three breakfast sausages, Little sliced cubed potatoes and scrambled eggs, which I would chop up the breakfast sausages, put it all together in one big thing with a bunch of salt and pepper and ketchup. I would try to buy as many extras as I can and eat those meals for the whole day. It's one of my favorite meals there. I would even eat that meal out here, even though it's really crap, low grade meat and food for some reason to me. It tastes delicious. And then there's the Thursday morning breakfast, which is a circular omelet with melted cheese folded over on a bed of cubed potatoes with a nice little thing on the side of hot porridge. Now that meal has substance. That's one of the few meals in the correctional centers like the super jails that actually has some mm, on your belly and makes you feel a little bit full. So that's why at number three, coming in from the Super Jails, Lindsay, Penetang, and Maplehurst, is the Sunday morning breakfast of three sausages, cubed potatoes, and scrambled eggs, sorry, and the Thursday morning breakfast of a circular omelet with cheese folded over on a bed of potatoes and some oatmeal. Coming in at number two. Now this, this has got to be the number one on most people's list in any prison that serves it. And that is chicken on the bone. Now, when I first started doing time right up until about 10 years ago, maybe eight years ago, almost every jail or prison that you went to served chicken on the bone. The problem is the bone can be used as a weapon. We got carbon fiber, buck knives, shanks, razor blades. What the hell? Is somebody going to use a chicken bone for? I mean, I guess it happens in some places out of desperation. But there's way better options than a chicken bone. So give us back the chicken on the bone. Or peel the chicken off the bone. Now, for a while in the super jails, there was a version of the chicken on the bone that was off the bone. I don't know if they serve that anymore. I haven't been to the super jails for quite a minute. But number two chicken on the bone because no matter where it comes from it's low grade chicken but it's chicken it's got high levels of protein in it you can revamp it if you're in a place that's got a hot plate or a microwave chicken 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 i love chicken doesn't matter chicken is the one meat in the street that doesn't really it's not like steak where you really have to look about buying the best quality stuff of course you want the best quality stuff but chicken is kind of chicken right it's kind of slimy and gross until you cook it Chicken on the bone from any jail that serves it is my number two meal on this list. Now, I put a notable or a runner-up on this list just because it's something that should be recognized. And that is the Big Mac combo with fries and a Pepsi or the Tim Hortons breakfast combo of an orange juice and an Egg McMuffin. is This is what you are served in any police station in York Region. Now, obviously, it sucks to be there. I guess they have some deal with McDonald's and they get this food for free. But whatever it is, you know, it's the least that you can get. It's one of the best meals that you get. And I think it's kind of a slap in the face, to be honest. Like, haha, enjoy your last meal before you go down for years. 
because they always look forward to making me go down to the pen for years. They would laugh at me <laughs> and make fun of me and think that I would be heartbroken. Come on, let's be real here. But they would. And I honestly believe that it's kind of a slap in the face, the meal. But either way, it's a Big Mac combo. You don't get that really anywhere in jail. So it had to be at least recognized. Now, my number one meal on this list is different. Not a lot of people would have had this meal. I was in a rare situation. I was in segregation in Fembrook in 2006. This is, while I was getting kicked out of Fembrook, I got caught with dope. I was in seg for three months. I was waiting to get transferred out to Joyceville and segregation was the spot. The guy I got booked with had an ounce of weed and was the cleaner, would drop joints every night under the door. We would smoke. We would eat like champs because there is no line food in Fenbrook. Okay. Back in that, those days, there was no tundra building. So there was no line food. So when you were in segregation, you got fed the food. They sold the coppers in the cafeteria for their meal. And this one specific meal is my number one meal. Two barbecue pork chops. Homemade mac and cheese from scratch. Soup, salad, milk, juice, and a big hunk of cherry cheesecake. Now sit on that for a second. I'm in segregation in a federal penitentiary on drug charges waiting to get transferred to a higher security prison. And this is the meal that I get. Honestly can say it was the most delicious meal I have ever in my life eaten in a jail. Now, I did this video because I've been asked a lot about it. Now, the reality is no food in prison is worth going to prison for unless you're dying of starvation and you need to go to a, a, a bucket for a night or two to get a two hot or, or whatever, hot in a cot or whatever, three hots in a cot, whatever you got to do. But no food in prison is street quality food except for that last meal. And it's really, really low grade protein, high carbs, high fat, really crappy quality stuff. And it really does bad things to your body. I know as uh, most of the people in prison have either been addicts or struggled and not lived the, the, the healthiest lifestyle. So when you go to prison and you eat these three, three course meals every day and you, and you train and you, you're not doing drugs, you look healthy and you, and you are healthy in terms of uh, your normal life. But the grade of food is borderline not edible. So never, ever, ever think that there's something good for you in a prison cafeteria. I do these videos for information purposes only. We would never, ever, ever promote anybody going to prison. This channel is about helping people to not go to prison, about helping people to not use drugs, and ultimately that's the goal. If you would like to hit me up on Instagram, you can. The new Matt Clark, all small letters, all one word. Uh, whether it's a video idea or you just have a question, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you could please hit that like button, if you could please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get these videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, that would be amazing. Help spread the message, help spread the word. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help and support the channel. The link will be in the description. I hope you like this video. Uh, I enjoyed making this video. It's funny when I think about these things because normally I would never look back at prison and think about what are the best meals. So it was kind of funny to... to to make this video and put things into this kind of context. So thank you for that. If you have any more questions or video ideas, you can either hit me up in the comment section or on Instagram, like I said before. Thank you for watching my video. Love each and every one of you at the new Matt Clark.